Speed and play. What term denotes a method of training for distance runners in which the terrain and pace are varied to enhance... Ah. Queen's Wallace. Fartlek training. Correct. Your bonus is now, Queens, are on philosophical notions of time. Winner of the 1927 Nobel Prize in Literature, which French philosopher stated that there were two possible conceptions of time, one of which he compared to the notes of a tune melting into one another? Sartre. And it was Bergson. Remembered for his doctrine of the flux of all things, which pre-Socratic philosopher stated that one cannot step into the same river twice? Maybe it was Aristotle. Aristotle. No, it was Heraclitus. And finally, which religion states that all phenomena are in a state of flux or constant change? A doctrine known variously as Anicca, Wu Chang, or Mu Zhou? Confucianism, Shinto. Confucianism. Confucianism? No, it's Buddhism. Ten points for this. In 1790, Josiah Wedgwood displayed his copies of which Roman artefact of the first century AD made of violet blue glass decorated with a single continuous white glass cameo. Now known by the name of the family who purchased it in 1778, it's on display in the British Museum. Ah, Queen's Belfield. Elgin Marbles? Lord, no. Bel uh, Balliol? Um. No, I'll tell you, it's the Portland Vase. Ten points for this. Answer as soon as you buzz. Eleanor of Provence and Eleanor of Castile were the mothers of which two successive English kings? Ah. Queen's Gilbert. John and Richard I. Anyone want to buzz from Balliol? I need an answer. It's Edward I and Edward II. Another starter question. In the 1940s, Erwin Chargaff demonstrated unequivocally the proportional relationship between the four bases of what substance? Ah. Paving... Queen's Wallace. DNA. Correct. Your bonuses are on human capacity now, Queens. All born in the 19th century, Herbert Spencer, Francis Galton, Henry Goddard, Charles Spearman and Cyril Burt are among those considered to have contributed to the current understanding and assessment of which broad capacity in human beings? Intelligence. Correct. Working in collaboration with Theodore Simon, which psychologist, born in Nice in 1857, devised the first practical method of assessing intelligence? No. Passed. That's Alfred Binet. And finally, the English psychologist Charles Spearman represented his construct of general intelligence, the factor that controls performance in a whole range of cognitive tasks, by which lowercase letter of the alphabet? K. No, it's G. Another starter question. When the Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe died in 1601, his work became the possession of which German mathematician, his last assistant, who would give his name to laws of planetary motion? Balliol Slater. Kepler. Kepler is correct. <laughs> OK, Balliol, your bonuses this time are on salad ingredients in literature. In Swift's Gulliver's Travels, the Academy of Lagado conducts experiments in which sunbeams are supposedly extracted from which vegetable? Cucumber. 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 Correct. In Shakespeare's Henry IV, Part II, Falstaff says of Justice Shallow that when he was naked, he was like a forked form of which salad ingredient with a head fantastically carved upon it with a knife? Is it a carrot? Is it a carrot? Carrot? No, it's a radish. Mm -hmm. In Beatrix Potter's The Tale of the Flopsy Bunnies, of what does she write? It is said that the effect of eating too much is soporific. I've never felt sleepy after eating them, but then I'm not a rabbit. Carrot? Carrot? No, it's lettuce. Oh, no. We're going to take a music round now. If you're a music starter, you'll hear a piece of popular music. Ten points if you can give me the name of the artist performing. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Queen's Gilbert. Jerry Lee Lewis? It is, yes. <laughs> that was Great Balls of Fire, which was released on the famous Sun record label in 1957. Your bonuses are excerpts from three more singles by artists signed to Sun and recorded in that decade. In each case, simply give me the name of the artist. Firstly... Hey, baby, jump over here when you do a little bit of around. It's gotta be near a little bit of Right. 
no idea. Where are your great grandparents when you need them? It's Roy Orbison, and secondly, who's this? Well, it's one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready now. Go, cat, go, but don't you. Elvis. No, that's Carl Perkins, finally. Well, that's all right, Mama. That's Elvis. That is Elvis, yes. Ten points for this side of question. Between 1768 and 1783, in chronological order, the Duke of Grafton, Lord North, the Earl of Shelburne, and the Duke of... Balliol Slater. Prime Ministers. No, you lose five points. And the Duke of Portland separated which father and son who shared both their names and the... Queen's Jackson. Uh, William Pitt, the elder and the younger. Correct, yes. OK, Queen's, your bonuses this time are on seawater. Which gulf is the northernmost arm of the Baltic Sea and, as a result of the number of rivers flowing into it, has such a low salinity that it is a habitat for many freshwater fish? Bothnia. Gulf of Bothnia. Bothnia. Gulf of Bothnia. Correct. Dissolved salts account on average for what percentage of the composition of seawater? You can have 2% either way. That's 3% 3%? Yes, I'll accept that. It's 3.5%. At 3.5% salinity, what is the freezing point of seawater to the nearest degree Celsius? Minus 3. No, it's minus 2 Celsius. Ten points for this. What surname is shared by two early US presidents, a 17th century English navigator... Who Balliol de Bray. Adams. Adams is right, yes. Failure, your bonuses are on North American place names, 200 miles northeast of Atlanta and the seat of Mecklenburg County. Which city, the largest city in the, of the, in the Carolinas, takes its name from the wife of King George III? Charlotte? Charlotte? Yeah. Charlotte. Correct. The small city of Charlottetown is the capital of which Canadian province, noted for its association with the fictional character Anne of Green Gables? Oh, that's Prince Edward Island. Prince Edward Island. Prince Edward Island. Prince Edward Island. Correct. The estate of Monticello in Charlottesville, Virginia, was remodelled on neoclassical lines by which future president following his term as Minister to France from 1785 to 89? Oh, God. Jefferson. Correct. Another starter question now. Answer as soon as you buzz. If A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, and so on, what is the sum of the values of the three keys that are the first letter keys on the three lines of a standard QWERTY keyboard? Balliol Slater. Ten. Anyone want to buzz from Queen's? Queen's Wallace. Um, 45. Bad luck, it's 44. Now the starter question now. What two-word term describes the policy adopted in early 2009 by the Bank of England in which money is... Queen's Gilbert. Quantitative easing. Yes. Your bonuses this time, Queens, are on medieval universities. The Jagiellonian University, founded in 1364, is the second oldest in Central Europe and the oldest in which country? Hungary. Hungary. Hungary? No, it's Poland. The oldest university in Germany, founded in 1386, is in which city on the river Neckar? Is it Tübingen? No, it's Heidelberg. The College of the University of Paris, founded in 1257 by Robert de Sorbon, was for students of which subject? Philosophy. No, it's theology. Ten points for this. Oh, mistress mine, where are you roaming? Come away, death, and the rain it raineth every day are among... Balliol Slater. Uh, Shakespeare's sonnets. No, you lose five points. Are among the songs of the clown Festy in which of Shakespeare's plays? Queen's Gilbert. Twelfth Night. Correct. You get a set of bonuses now. You get these, you'll take the lead. They're on a field of science. A tutor of Richard Dawkins, the Dutch academic Nico Tinbergen, helped pioneer the application of which evolutionary theory to early animal and human behaviour? Pass. It's ethology. Which Austrian, who shared the 1973 Nobel Prize in Medicine with Tinbergen and Karl von Frisch, is usually credited with laying the foundations of modern ethology in the early 1930s? His works include On Aggression in 1966. Past. That's Conrad Lorenz. And finally, which English zoologist helped popularise ethology in the 1960s with his book The Naked Ape? Desmond Morris. 